Another adjustment in the pronation protocol is the three cuneiforms. I usually do the cuneiforms third after adjusting navicular and cuboid. I adjust the cuneiforms as though they were one bone. Now, as you can see on the chart, all three cuneiforms do drop straight inferior. Now, it is true that the first cuneiform is larger, it's denser, and has slightly more mobility inferior to superior in the gait cycle, but they all go straight inferior. Here's how you adjust an inferior cuneiform. Now remember and picture that the cuneiforms drop straight inferior at mid stance. So the doctor is going to stand on the lateral aspect of the involved foot. The headward hand is going to make a U shape like you see here. The headward hand will cup the hind foot so that the four flat finger pads are on the medial aspect of the calcaneus like you see here. You're going to take the ulnar border of the footward hand and picture that as a line and you're going to put this line straight across the height of the medial longitudinal arch. So headward hand, finger pads, medial calcaneus, ulnar border of the footward hand, straight across the arch. Next, the doctor will bend and squat a bit to get both forearms as parallel to the patient's tibia as possible. I always tell the doctors to picture a line going elbow to elbow. So headward hand, footward hand, squat a bit. Now you're going to traction inferior with the headward hand and maintain the traction as the ulnar border of the footward hand thrusts straight superior. So headward hand, footward hand, traction, thrust. It is not typical to hear any type of pop or cavitation when you adjust the cuneiforms.